and that is the airbag fixed and it was such a simple fix I can't quite believe it really so I'll um, take you through what I've done and how I've got there with this because I know absolutely nothing about airbags other than if you mess around with them you could end up with them exploding in your face um, and when you hit something hard they, exp they expand a balloon and you hit your head in it so you don't bash your face on the steering wheel just a little side story to that I uh, last uh, Ford Capri that I had a Mark III 2 liter S which was one of my most favorite cars ever I had a head on with that and uh, a guy was coming around the wrong side of the road he hit me so hard the engine came through the bulkhead and I bashed my nose on the or front of my face on the steering wheel and had a really serious injury on my face that was before airbags that's all I know about airbags so if I'd have had an airbag in the Capri, <laughs> I wouldn't have had the injury. Now, as far as airbags go, they are black magic um, in my mind. So I've taken um, various precautions to make sure I've done everything correctly so I don't set the things off. Now, the situation I was having was uh, the f when you turn the ignition on on the Jimny, the airbag would flash six times, the airbag light, and then the airbag light would stay on and it says airbag there's no symbol of an airbag it just says airbag and it would stay on and that indicates a fault now I downloaded the Suzuki manual for this car uh, from one of the Suzuki forums um, I'll double check out where that is and I'll put the link for that on the comments um, and there are a number of manuals so you need to make sure you get the right one uh, corresponding with your VIN number and the VIN number on my car is under the bonnet behind the battery on the bulkhead on a plate okay so verify you've got the right manual otherwise you've got two different systems otherwise if you've got the wrong manual you'll be looking at the wrong diagrams and the wiring is all wrong okay so I've got the right manual it's on my computer so I've got it on screen and I've had a good read up about what to do and what not to do it mentions various special tools uh, it mentions uh, you can use a scan tool um, you can use um, a link wire etc 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 okay so I don't have a scan tool or I didn't have a scan tool and again you have to be careful what you buy so I didn't want to buy an expensive scan tool but I do need one for other things that I've got because my TD5 Land Rover has got OBD2 diagnostics on it and so has my daughter's uh, Citroen C3 even though she's selling that and of course this Jimny has got the same thing on as well so I thought well if it doesn't cure what I'm trying to do on the Jimny at least I can use it for other stuff so I've bought um, it's an X-Tool AnyScan A30 Bluetooth scanner and it's a little scanner unit you plug into the OBD socket on the car you select the uh, app on your phone and it reads out all of the codes and there's live data on there and you can do bi-directional stuff with it and all sorts so it, the, the people are raving about it on the internet so I thought in for a penny in for a pound it cost me about 110 quid I thought I'm not spending four or five hundred pounds on a scan tool or a diagnostics because I just don't need one so I'll give it a go so I've tried it this morning, plugged it in, it wouldn't read the uh, airbags. Um, tried everything, still wouldn't read the airbags. Read everything else, engine data, ABS data, all sorts of stuff, but not the airbags. So I thought, okay, put that back in its box. <laughs> so the next step was to do a manual uh, fault code test. And the manual fault code test in, uh, on the Suzuki Jimny for the airbags is linking a little plug down to the earth, down to negative or ground, okay? And there's a procedure in the book of how to do it, which is what I did. And when I did that, I get a blink code come up on the screen where the airbag light would be, and the airbag words flash in a certain sequence. And I'll show that on screen in a moment. When you follow the process, and I'll show you where the plug is and everything else and what I did, when you follow the process, it will come up with a, uh, a blink code in a certain sequence, and that will tell you the actual fault code that you have. Okay. Now in my case, the fault code was, um, the blink codes were two flashes, uh, a pause, and then single flash. 
which equates to 21. So it's code 21. And when you follow that back, it's actually code B1021. If so if you were to read it on a scan tool, that's the code you would get. And B1021 is high resistance in the driver airbag circuit. High resistance straight away to me is a broken connection, open circuit, okay? So at that point, what I then did was I went to the wiring diagram. Oh, actually it tells you there's a, um, a flowchart table, what to do when you get 1021. Again, I'll show that up again on the screen in a second. And when you go to blink code 21, the first thing it says, with ignition switch off, disconnect contact coil connector G62 located near the base of the steering column. And that plug is this plug here. And this plug here was disconnected. But I did not reconnect it before because if you can see one side of the plug has got a green and a red green wire going to it on the left and the other side has got a blue wire and a yellow wire and I'm thinking why would you plug a connector together that has got different color codes on each side of it that can't be right but anyway that is G62 and G62 was disconnected and the way I verified G62 was there is a schematic diagram in the manual which shows G62 and G62 goes up to the airbag in the steering wheel and one side of the G62 is green with a green and red and the other side of it is blue and yellow so I reconnected that G62 plug and the fault has gone away because that was high resistance because there was no connection. So I can't for the life of me think why G62 would have been disconnected in the first place. So I don't know if somebody messed up, forgot to put it back together or what, I really don't know. But I'm not worried because the blink light has gone out, the airbag light has gone out and it is now good for MOT so I'm happy with that. The little uh, uh, ground plug which you need to put to ground is that one there so I've added in this little link wire into this plug now the plug looks like this so it's a little white connector it's got a single wire going to it which looks sort of I think it's purple and it's coming out of the yellow airbag harness all airbag harnesses are yellow okay so anything that's got a yellow sheathing around it that is the airbag circuit okay and what it tells you to do is it tells you to switch the ignition on and basically ground this little wire to the chassis five times in five seconds and then you hold it on the ground wire and the blink code will appear on the screen okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to show you what you get okay so the ignition is on and the airbag light is flashing, so we wait for that to go off. And I'm going to, and I'm going to touch this to the ground wire, which is this black terminal here on the chassis, five times, one every second. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, and hold it down. And you can see now that I've got a flashing light. And this is flashing one flash, pause, and then two. One, one, two. And then there's a big long pause. One, one, two. And that blink code means there is no fault. And so I just take the ground wire off and it stops flashing okay now all the while the ignition is turned on that fault code um, setting is up okay so if i put the light the wire back on it it flashes again and i get the same code so i get one and then one two okay And I clear all of that now, I can turn that off. If I turn the ignition off, 
turn the ignition back on, I get six flashes. This is the airbag system doing the self-check. And job done. Okay. So, the question remains, why was G62 underneath the steering column disconnected? Um, this one here, don't know. But I'm not too worried because using this, I've got my blink code, I've figured out which code we've got. It's told me high resistance on the airbag circuit. That is the airbag circuit connector for the uh, steering wheel. I've connected it up and it's all working. Okay. One last thing just to tell you uh, is the fuse box. So the fuse for the airbag system is, the fuse box on the Jimny is, is the brown box there. Okay, and the airbag fuse is inside that fuse box. If you watch some YouTube videos uh, or watch it some forums, they tell you that the fuse for the airbag is separate on the outside of the box. On this car, and this is an 04 car, it's actually in the fuse box and it's marked up as such. So the fuse is in there, it's a 15 amp fuse. Um, other things to note are that there is the airbag module. So that is in front of the gear stick under the plastic molding, okay. Um, and on this I've got nothing, no passenger detection on seats. I've only got airbag in the steering wheel, airbag in the passenger dashboard and seat belt pretensions on the front seat. That's all there is on this car. So fairly simple. And I'm glad that I don't have to spend any more money. <laughs> and it is fixed. So I'm happy with it. One last word of warning, if you don't know what you're doing or you're not sure what you're doing with airbags, get somebody who knows what they're doing because you could hurt yourself. They could go off um, if you do the wrong thing, especially if you check resistance and you're using a, an ohm meter to check resistance because there are voltages um, going around and continuity, if you're checking continuity, you're using the battery and the multimeter, that could be enough voltage to set the airbag off so it's advisable not to do that if you get to that point where you've got a blink code but you don't know what to do next um, like you've got to do measurements and such like then you need to get a professional in to do it so there we have it airbag fixed and as I said if you're not sure get professional help hope this has been of use to you this video and uh, yeah, please like and subscribe if you would like to see what we do with all our different projects going on and our mechanical adventures. And uh, yeah, keep watching and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care and bye for now.